Well, we're off to Starry Grad and uh, look at this for a view. It's pretty impressive. Pretty bloody impressive. So again, this is the road from Senj to Starry Grad on the Croatian coast. Uh, it's still atomically hot. But let's try not let's try and forget about that. I've just covered myself in cream. Yeah, this is a pretty spectacular. This is probably, I mean, it hasn't even really got started yet, but already this is probably one of the most spectacular roads I've ridden. I mean, fuck me, just look at it. The sea is so turquoise. I need to get in the sea in a minute. Hopefully, when I'm in my bathing suit, I'll just fall off. Oh, breathe it in, Chris. That's why you came. Just enjoy it. Stop thinking about all the other shit in your life. Put it to one side for at least another week. There's nothing you can do about it. Jobs, relationships, houses, work. Just, just, just shut up about it. Just let it be, let it be. Soak this in instead. Aren't you lucky boy? I even like the way I smell of sun lotion. It even feels like holiday. But yeah, as I'm not really dressed appropriately, I'm really going to just take it easy and just enjoy the views. And I know I'm sorry, so many of you are going to be like, eh, 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 but I, I, I'm, I'm taking the risk. It's not your risk. It looks nice. You know, what's worse, being fully leathered up and doing 150 mile an hour down here or riding 50 miles an hour at a chill pace? I mean, that's a good debate. Oh my God, that looks amazing. I think I'm going to, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I've been sort of rushing to get to cool places, but I keep forgetting that the whole point of this was to go and just enjoy yourself. Don't rush. Take your time. You don't have to be back for at least two weeks. It's fucking beautiful. Oh, I saw some tits. Cool. Oh. <laughs> it was like a magnetron pulling me down there to the breast. Right, well, I'm going to uh, sign off for a bit and just enjoy the cruise so uh, I'll catch up with them a while because this road I think is a, a good 100 kilometers long so uh, of course if there's some spectacular pieces come up I will be sure to click record and show you the scenic views bye I mean come on come on people Come and live in Croatia. And even this way looks amazing as well. Put my gloves on. Oh, shade. Let's have some of that. It's just constant beautiful views. Are these the Dalmatian Islands? Is that what they call it? Or the Dalmatian Coast? I guess it's because there's lots of spots. Lots of little islands. I am looking at the road, I'm just pointing my helmet. Not if I twist it even more. That is pretty fucking awesome, isn't it? That I'm gonna stop. Wow. It's just wow after wow. I mean, it, it's it's a hundred kilometers long this road and it's like this the whole way. I am severely burning though, my arms. I need to um, put on the hot heavy jacket. <sighs> Which means I've got to stop again and all the cars that I've overtaken, they're going to overtake me again. And I've already done it twice. So what's on those big up, those islands up there? It doesn't look like there's much on those islands. They look pretty sparse. There's no trees and shit, nothing on them. So why why has this side got loads of green shit on and that side doesn't? No one answer that? It's just arid. I mean, it's super zoomed out, like super widescreen, so you might not even be able to see it, but it's very beige. I'd like to stop for a fizzy drink and an extra sun block moment. Oh, a dip in a pool. Th I mean, this is the road you want to share with a mate. Or your, or your bird, or your missus. Because then you can go, oh my God, wasn't it amazing? Whereas 
there's no one here to go, oh my god. Well, apart from you. <laughs> so thanks for that. Just had to stop my little kiosk to get a mineral water because I'm absolutely dead. <clears throat> and to change to put on my big jacket. Well, my lightweight jacket, but... <sighs> How good does this water look? I really want to get in it. I was, th I was tempted just to jump in, like this. <sighs> but then it, it's salt water, isn't it? It'll go all crusty. And I'm pretty crusty as it is. Okay, so let's push on to Starry Grad and then look for a hotel. I think I'm done. It's five o'clock. I mean, if I have to sleep in a tent. <laughs> in this temperature, it would be pretty... Uh, Pretty extreme. But it's always an option. Ah, oh, he's calling the doggy off. Oh. Looks pretty nice. Welcome bikers. <clears throat> nice to know, thank you. I think I need to stay somewhere with a bit of life tonight. I feel like I feel quite lonely. I think being in a weird little family town, seeing all these happy families with their kids and loving partners, might make me a bit sad. <laughs> I kind of picked the wrong time to quit drinking because I feel like going out and getting gazeboed, but then I'll pay the prices the next day. And we're back with the golf again. Right, well, I'm going to push on. I'll speak to you uh, shortly. What's that been, weird? Right, so um, did the road, battery ran out of the GoPro, uh, <laughs> decided to hot foot it, so we are going to go to Split tonight. Um, it was about another an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes from there, but got nothing else to do and I thought I'd better do some riding in the evening. It still went up to 37 degrees again, but anyway, it's uh, now 10 past 7. It's 33 degrees, there's a big old wind coming in, and I'm sure I saw some rain. Um, and I'd actually be quite thankful for a bit of rain right now. But anyway, uh, to try and cheer myself up, I booked myself a luxury hotel, and uh, thought, fuck the money, I don't care, this is my holiday, and go out, have a good time, enjoy yourself. YOLO. So, I'll see you when I get to split. Let's split. <laughs> right, well, uh, there it is. There is split. We're just winding our way down off the auto route. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. I think, oh, this wind is a bit buffety. Um, yeah, I've had a big, lo I've had a long day in the saddle today. We've done many, many miles. I mean, we were near the Slovakian border this morning and we still did a cool coast road so I'm quite that's that's in a sense of achievement and also just on a personal level I don't know if I'll actually upload this bit but maybe it helps me communicate oh look at that come on come on come on get in go on get in there you know when uh, when relationships are ending both parties do things which aren't particularly helpful so fuck it uh, fuck it, I'm done. I'm this far now. Bosnia is literally probably 200 kilometers, not even that, maybe 100 kilometers from here. So if I turn around now, I was like, fuck it, I'm going home. I'm going home and I'm going to go and cry and be upset about my girlfriend. Then um, it's been a complete waste, worse than a waste. So <laughs> I've just got to push on. Looks a bit like... Um, Rio de Janeiro, but not quite as sugar loafy. So yeah, get a nice hotel. I'm probably going to stay in this town for a couple of days and just kind of get out of a saddle sore, get ready to go to Bosnia, which is a bit more exciting, and get all the luxury stuff out the way here. Use the internet, because when I go to Bosnia, I don't have free, well, I can't use my uh, connection, what do you call it, my, my minutes my usage, what well, data, that's it. I've got unlimited data in the EU and some other more popular countries like Switzerland, etc. But Bosnia and Serbia, uh-uh. 
so I'll be quite remote. And I can't wait actually to put the GPS that I've got on here. I mean, I love Bimoto, but I'm, I'm getting sick of staring at this fucking sticker. <laughs> so even if I don't put the GPS on, I think I'm gonna have to cover it up. I didn't expect it to be this sort of big and communist. I didn't, yeah, I didn't expect to see all these sort of tower blocks and stuff. I thought it'd be sort of cute and little, but I'm seeing cranes and port stuff. But then I suppose it's a massive stop off for big cruise ships, isn't it? But then, I don't know, I've got my chest hair out. I've, I'm literally naked under this jacket. My nipples have rubbed down to nothing. Little nubs. Fucking sand maps. Why is it telling me to go left here? Stupid fucking thing. I mean, they're pretty amazing things, but when they do something slightly, not even wrong, just slightly out of the ordinary, it's like fucking sat now, piece of shit. <laughs> needs to do, needs to do better. Hill start control. Okay, there we go. Quite useful. I used to think that was shit as well. Come on then, let's go. We we. What? Oh, I don't understand. So let's go, but. Don't go. I feel like I'm in Israel for some reason. Not that I've ever been to Israel. Yeah, I mean, this isn't very nice, is it? Like, this is really quite poor. You think of Split, I do anyway, it's quite a luxury boutique destination. I mean, I guess the old town's different. So, um, flip, flip front helmets. They look, you look like a proper Mong wearing one, but I would have killed for a flip front helmet. <laughs> I wish I had one. This looks like fucking lethal slippery shit. I may as well get a bit of this as well, fuck it. You can see my hairy chest then. Flapping in the wind, look, I open it up. Right. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I just want a nice air conditioned room, please. And a nice shower and a nice lager. They um, spotted the English plate. It's quite, you get quite a lot of respect almost for like, fuck it out, you've come a long way. Yeah, fucking have. In fact, is this the furthest I've gone on a motorcycle? Almost definitely. <laughs> My jacket's gonna absolutely stink by the time I come back as well. What well, if I can wash it? I'll have to hand wash it in a sink. A stink sink. That's a nice dress. So I go, fuck it. Don't really understand the rules. I guess if someone's crossing, don't hit them. Okay, so this is heading towards the old town. I think my hotel is just on the cusp of the old town. Oh, that's it there. Guess we have to go this way. How am I gonna get up there then? So to get round, I now have to go fuck off. I have to go all the way around there. Okay, brilliant. It's not a very good location, is it? Fucking yeah. shit. It's already pissed me off. I'm not there, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake, you fucking pricks. Oh, you fucking idiot! Fuck's sake. Right, well, I'll have to fucking figure it out myself. Looks shit. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I'm glad I spent 200 quid on that. Come on, Gandalf. Everyone's rude. I don't like it. I don't know why this bike's making a shit fucking noise as well. I'm going straight back to BMW when I get home. Uh, I reckon I should have gone down there. Fuck it. I'm going to be back in exactly the same fucking spot! <laughs> fucking fuck you! Oh fucking hell, I'm just going to go around again! Fuck you! <laughs> right, I'll see you later, fuck's sake. Right, let's try this again. This is why 
I don't like going to towns and staying in cities because the parking's shit and if I want to come into the city later, I don't really drink anymore, I'll just fucking drive in. Fucking. And if this parking's shit, I'm just... But, uh, better be safe. If it's not, I'm just going to go, fuck it, I want money back, I'll go and stay in the fucking Premier Inn. 200 and fucking 15 quid this was. Better be fucking good. I'm not in a good mood. I was in a great mood. But before that I was in a bad mood. <sighs> I'm disappointed with the city so far as well. Okay, let's go down this way. Right. That's what threw me last time. Hotel Lux, got it. Right. Okay, let's be positive. Reservation of Hotel Lux. This isn't safe. It's fucking shit. Hello, I've got a reservation for tonight. Of course. Thanks. Ben's okay? Yeah, yeah, more water. Camera You can you can watch. <laughs> so Split is a perfect example of somewhere really nice that's been completely fucking ruined by tourism and people. It's... I, I can't fucking wait to get out of this place. It's honestly... It's awful. It's awful. It's such a shame. Look, look, like the old city looks really nice, but... God. It's like sort of... It's like a Magaluf that doesn't even admit that it's fucking Magaluf. It's fucking shit. Sorry if you live here, but... I feel sorry for you. It's way too expensive. Fucking hotel shit. I just want a beer. I just want to have one fucking beer in a nice chilled out fucking nice bar that's not something fucking shit run by Ken and Barbara from the fucking Costa del Sol. Unbelievable.